Uh, I'm Dave Bathgate. I lived in Branchville uh, all my life. I was born in 1938. My name is Bill Bathgate. Like Dave said, we're cousins. Here's the museum. Yep. And uh, cousin Dave and I will give you a tour to of what around. we have. And uh, I try to explain the best of our ability what we have here. This is a picture of the center of town in Branchville center of town. Uh, um, I would say it's probably back in the 50s. And a picture of the, uh, uh, well that was where the Grand Union was originally. and. Uh, Bedell's Auto Service Station, the gas station, and the next door comes over is the Branchville Public School. It's a picture of picture of Culver and Van Auken, and that's where Bill's dad used to run that the uh, Culver and Van Auken uh, repair garage and repair shop, and. Uh, Sold gas. Uh, it was 1931 picture. And uh, this is the uh, next picture. The picture at night of Bedell's Auto Station, and that was uh, uh, 1940. The picture is it was taken at night by. Uh, they had already experience with milling flour, and uh, the one son. Uh, took the initiative to put a bigger building up there, create two ponds, the mill pond, uh, and they had a series of what they call the mill race. The water would run underground and part and part in the open mill race, go down through and hit the turbines and run the stones. Oh, yeah. yeah, went down through. Yeah, there. and then they found that and the Crispins owned the water rights from Branchville all the way to Culver's Lake, and then they constructed another dam, uh, the electric pond dam, uh, because they they were, re this is being constructed, and this is after the fact, and they were responsible for bringing electricity to Branchville. This is uh, something I made up it was in a German magazine. Someone visited here from Germany many years ago. It was 1946, exactly. And this building, which is, I think you're all familiar with, it's uh, used to be the old drug. It used to be the drugstore in town. And uh, it uh, adjacent to the drugstore. You can't see it here in the picture, but it was Doc Johnson's office. Now. This building here is where the Chinese restaurant is now. It was called the Van Orden building. The Van Ordens owned it. And in 1963, after the purchase of the Park Place Hotel by Ambrose Ham, he also purchased this building, tore it down, uh, and made a, a laundromat out of it. And then it changed to a flower shop, and now it's a Chinese restaurant. And here's one of the stores at the corner building. This would be going down the street to the post office eventually. Um, now, I talk about the Nordens. This, this picture here, which shows the original post office, you can see the corner of the building, of the Norden building right here. It has the, the Norden, um, sign right there. Now, this lady was um, Anna Utter. She was Sussex County's equivalent to Annie Oakley. If you read this whole story, or all these, when I put this together, I found quite a few things about her and uh, her shooting abilities. And uh, she was quite well known not only locally, but they, she used to do shows up to New York State for different people. 
This here is what is called the grill today, but it was the, um, yeah, A.R. Young's had a store in there at one time, uh, several people had stores, and then it became uh, the Grand Union. Uh, Pearson's Hardware Store was next to it. As you can see, we got his sign, and here is Bedell's uh, gas station and auto parts. Mr. D.L.B. Smith had a riding club, Branchville Riding Club. Now that's called, like today, it would be the, uh, the uh, horse show in the fair. And uh, there was many members into it, like local farmers had their horses, they'd go out for Sunday drive. That's the way it started. And out for Sunday ride, and uh, that's the way it started. And the first horse show was at uh, Augusta, uh, there at uh, in Augusta, and I think the second one was was down here and uh, um, right just outside of Branchville. Like, what was the the uh, there where uh, Duffy's farm was? That was oh, okay, yes. That was the second uh, one, and then, uh, and then they joined. Then it came to Mr. D.L.B. Smith's ground and started there. Uh, that was separate from the fair. That, uh, and this is a picture of the, the fairgrounds, uh, probably back in the, uh, I would say, the 50s. And they put all the tents and the cattle tents and the horse ring. Uh, it's quite, quite impressive. 17 years, it's supposed to be 17 of them. And uh, uh, they had a booth there at the fair and you could send a postcard to your friends at the fair. And the post, and the selected paid for the uh, postage on to it. And uh, some of our local people like Alan Herdman and, and different, uh, Blue Odell, and they uh, won the contest quite often with their pictures of the, of the fair. And, uh, and also we have the uh, uh, security guards. They had a, had a security guards at night because they had to make sure everything was uh, secured and got to be quite a big fair. And that was 1950. And uh, they had one, the 13 security guards. And we had some more pictures of the fair uh, with the postcards, which is really nice. And uh, when we had the programs down here of each year, um, World War II veterans was into it. And, uh, there was a plaque. Uh, there was a plaque on the firehouse. Originally taken on is going to be put somewhere else on the municipal building, I think. And uh, that had all the names of the soldiers that went went to war, night in and, and uh, had their names on it. Was uh, World War II from Branchville. We have a picture of uh, Paris, the center. That was the blacksmith shop. Selective insurance company inside the office worker. That's back in the, oh, I would say the 30s, I think, something like that, the 40s. And there's a picture of the uh, Borden's uh, Creamery. That was uh, quite, uh, quite good. 